Hey guys, Future Phillips here. Just wanted to apologize for the audio quality of this video. Um, going forward, you won't be able to hear my mouse and keyboard as much, um, but it, but it is present in this one because I forgot to stop my gates correctly. Um, that being said, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of All the Mods Eight with me, Phillips Eight. And together, we're gonna conquer this world. So, we've spawned in on a beautiful island. We do have some trees, which is nice. I did quickly explore to see if I should reset, but you know what, we're just gonna go with it. So there is a spawner there and some type of temple, and that's about all I've seen. So we'll just get some wood, try to get started. The goal for this episode, pretty much just get some basic utilities, or basic resources, not sure what utilities meant. And uh, I'm also going to get some, hopefully, mm, progress into Ars Nouveau, which is a mod pack, a magical mod pack. All the mods has quite a lot to offer. Um, so we're going to be diving into quite a few of these mods. Some I've worked with before, others not create, but it's something that's popular right now. And I'd love to build some trains and to get into other parts of that mod, you got the Croptopia, uh, Deeper and Darker, which is always fun, Age of Engineer, Decorations, Eva Craft, Gateway to Eternity, Immerse, Immerse of Engineering, and Nutro Forging, you got Macau's, you have quite a few different mods from uh, them, uh, Mechanism, Bees, bees is something I can't wait to get into. Um, I think that's one of my major goals, is to pretty much make it so that instead of us mining, I'd like to get most of our resources from bees if possible. And then uh, the second one is to build a massive mine colony. I think that's what we're going to be focusing on in the next couple episodes. So this is actually not a terrible start because we have access to easy ore on the ground, like there's copper. I was trying to be a little more ambitious there, but yeah, there's, there's copper. Uh, looks like there's some other stuff. Or <laughs> coal, I can't talk today. So we'll quickly make this bed, this crafting table. We're gonna be making a bed. I, I do not know how to PVP. And we have vein miner, so I can just go in. Boop. We don't have to throw away a useless pick. We still get everything we need to start out. So we do have quests. Um, quests and a lot of achievements. Just, um, the quests, I find, don't give you that much. I'm not saying they're terrible. They're definitely not terrible. They just... I. Uh, except for the Ars Nouveau, I haven't really seen much of a reason to really get into them, but we will go through. I'd like to complete them all. Um, I know I've already screwed up on one, but I'm just trying to get some stuff ready to go before we run into daytime. I mean, it is five, according to that. I'm always a little confused by uh, Minecraft time because Five would almost seem like either morning or afternoon, but it's the sun's currently at like 12 noon. So we do have a spawner here, which is nice. It it does suck because we can't get the chest. I wonder if we can still open it. I'm curious. No. But I'd rather this right now. So that's what we'll do. We'll make sure this is all lit up. And uh, yeah, I hope for the best. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my starting home. It's kind of different. Not really like a starting home. Well, actually, I don't know. I know there's usually chests up in these. So, quickly go up here. Thank you. 
So this is a series, I, I really just wanted to play this mod pack and I thought, you know what, I'll share it with some people. If people want to watch, great. But, uh, I'm, not, I'm not in it, just just for the views. It is always nice when I can share some stuff with you, but more because I don't know any of these mods. I haven't played modded Minecraft since 1.6. We're at 1.19.2, so a long ways. So yeah, if you guys ever notice I can be doing something more efficient, have pointers about what I can do, or things you'd like to see me complete, say you're not sure about something, and I'll look into it, and I can do that. That's, uh, that's my goal to you guys. I give you guys something useful. Um, I did notice there's a waste over there, which is nice. I do like this whole island. I think this is going to be where our, our final base will be, because I can use, use it as like a starter and then have different things around it. Won't be where the mine colony is now. Mine colony will be though. Hoping to find a plains or right? like there's a bunch of amazing biomes that we can check out. As I say, planes are under here. So yeah, I think this might be where we end up. Calling up, no. Well, that makes life easy, because there's, there's a village. So, I'll come back to that. I am very curious about this village. Because this just made life easy. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let's see what nothing there. Come back and mine that. No chests in here. This looks like it's not one of the mine colony villages, but it's just a basic village. Which is fine. You know what? Hey, like I'm not gonna complain. Villagers are cute. So that's one of the things I'd like to do with this is we're gonna build a massive mine colony. The last time I played mine colonies, unfortunately, it was only one. You, you can only make like one mine colony. So I think what I'm gonna do is like villages like this. I'm gonna come in and retrofit them, make them look better. And uh, make sure they're not uh, being attacked by monsters. I do see they have some guards here, so that's always great. I'm curious. Guard village. I wonder if you can make more of those, if it's like adding that or something like that. I'll learn about that. There are no chests in here though, that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. I got a bunch of food and a free bed. I'm stealing this guy's bed, so I'm not going to complain. I also haven't seen any cows anywhere, so something I'm going to look for. Because cows are be easy way for us to get some type of backpack this is some weird generation what are these do you guys like berries nope okay i got no idea they're cute but i think what we'll do is probably just go to the edge of this hill i'm just curious what's this this is weird oh i can see that underneath there's a spawner or something. We'll quickly break this with our uh, hand pickaxe. And what is it? Another zombie. We'll do that for now. There's this too. This is cool. X marks the spot. I don't actually know what that means. What is this? Say, um, Meteor over there. Looks like it's the Bioenergistics. That's that's a mod I can't really can't wait to get into is applied energistics. Okay, so it's getting dark. We'll throw a bed down. Go to bed before it's too late. 
And then I think what we'll do is I'm gonna go grab that tree in front of us, the nearest nouveau tree. And then we're gonna turn around and head back. Oh, here we go. That's gonna be nice to mine. I think this is this is a really good spot for us. Nice little conserved island. Everything we need. What is this? I always love playing around these. Bastion. And it gives me shielding. I'm curious what that means. Grab some of the saplings. The reason why I'm grabbing this is it's going to really help us once we get coal to be able to uh, start up and Mars Nouveau into the magic. And I think, you know what? I said I was going to start over there. I lied. I'm gonna put ourselves in the middle of this because I love this biome. That's deep. Yeah, I really like these trees. Probably cherry trees. What biome are we in? Cherry blossom forest. Yeah. So that's that's beautiful. There's a cow. Perfect. A bunch of rock looks weird on me. Yeah, there's a bunch of rocks it looks like around. Oil. Really deep, deep river. Yeah, we're gonna put ourselves in here. Don't howl yet. Really liking these trees. So I don't want to cut any down. that comes through here and we'll build our house right in the middle we'll cut down that what is this we'll cut down this one tree oh that is gorgeous wood and it gives us probably cut down a few more I didn't know how beautiful that wood was um, the only thing that sucks is I can't build a basement there's a flooded cave underneath us. But yeah, so I'll build a house probably here. You know what? That's what we'll do. Yeah, don't mind my cat meowing. Okay, so I'm just going to get some stuff set up here and then uh, come back. Welcome back guys. So, we now have a little starter house. It's not fully complete. I don't, oh, that was just scary. Look, I ran out of a few materials, um, which we're going to go get now. But uh, yeah, we have what's going to be our little starter house. So I used pretty much the wood from... 
Where did he come from? Okay, one sec. Let me kill these guys. that later so yeah I use the wood I hate creepers okay there we go figure something out after there's a floating tree right now so yeah anyways as i've been interrupted twice we built the house pretty much just out of the cherry logs um, stone brick which has just been chiseled i don't know chisel on me and uh calcite which there was a massive vein of calcite over there and then the inside's just simple you just got arch wood a little staircase i ran out of the arch wood and I had my bed here, but for some reason there were mobs outside and I couldn't sleep. So we have a couple of open windows too, so we can just jump out need be. And uh, yeah, so I think what we should go do is find some arch wood to finish this. And uh, also to actually start getting uh, started into ours magic. So that being said, I'm going to quickly go for a little run, hopefully find a tree, and uh, we'll be back. And we're almost back. And like that, everything's good. So what we will do is probably die opening our door. Well, we move fast. Why? Okay, screw this. Um, I'm just gonna build a new crafting table. I just wanna clear up my inventory, but this isn't working. So I need that anyways. We're gonna... <laughs> I had a crafting table here the whole time. That's embarrassing. Okay, we'll turn all that into... I don't know if we're gonna need 32 chests, but regardless, I think what I'm going to end up doing is making it so my chests are all up here. One, two, go one, two, one, two. Um, I will just use this for now because we're going to probably get into some storage that will make it easier. So I didn't grab any gold when I was out, which is fine. Mostly because I was too scared of dying. We are going to misplace that one block. Okay, I think we can get into Ars Magica. I went up here too, that's embarrassing. So we need a table to begin with. A table built like so. You know what? Hmm. I'll put our magics down here. This is something we're going to be using semi. I think it looks nice. I really need food, but we're also going to need a bunch of iron, which we have, so that's always great. And we're going to make a spell book.
those with a book. And then we have a spell book, a novice. And with questing, I haven't been looking at these a lot. So I'll have to go through, but when we get into Ars Nouveau, these give us a lot of things later on. Once we get to here, we'll get a random reward. That's essence. And when we get some nice rewards. I didn't capture that I had a scribe table. Okay. There we go. And that should have given us a spell. A random spell. So we have the choice of getting a tier one. That, and what do we end up getting? We ended up getting pull. Huh. Okay. And then, so to activate this, I just right click it, and now it's right here. So, off the bat, what we want to do, now if I click on this, is the lighting one. I find the spell. We hit select. Now you see there's stuff floating up here. I just need to add that. It writes the spell for us. It throws it into the corner. Now I click it and now I can write a spell. So I want to go projectile. Conjure the, I'm going to call it Lubos. I know it sounds like it's some cool spell. And we're gonna go. We're in a purple. So I'm gonna go purple save. Okay, that created it because in the bottom left it says create. So now if I shoot that, I get an orb of glowing light. I can break it anytime. And it takes it does use mana, but the mana regen's pretty okay. So if I hit F7. Kind of go around and light up big majority. Oh, I need to kill him. This is gonna hurt. That's what I needed. So, yeah, so now we just quickly go around and that. Probably is a better way. Eventually, we'll get more resources and be able to craft. There's a few things to help stop mobs from spawning altogether. But for now, this doesn't look terrible. I'm almost thinking we probably should have shot them into the trees, but I don't know if that would have stopped anything. Oh, I think it would have. Instead, except for here, stuff like that, which is fine. I'm gonna go up anyways. Yeah, I do like that a lot better. Break, throw some up here, and it should hide everything pretty much or make it look semi natural almost like glowing berries in a tree. That's the only thing though is like here. If I go oh well, if I go here, I really only have to worry about this. And then I just hide it there. Now that looks a lot better because you can just kind of dot these right here and there. I got stuck. So you can do this for like breaking and other things like that too, which is nice. This, we light up the trees. That's a little too close to the first one. There we go. Hmm. 
You can spam them around too. I ran it off. Here. There's the one spot. I can't see much spotting there, so that's fine. Yeah, just gives us a little bit of. Yeah, so see, I uh, not enough mana. Which is fine, but. Let's see something like here. Need one. Need a few in these trees. And I'm just blasting one there. Okay, hi, I see you. I mean, I want you to be around. safe. And there's there's a lot more we can do, so nope, that's not what I want to do. So if you look like we can this is where flight is nice. Once we get some things we can item pick up, which is cool. But it allows us, like, ignite, which is cool. Block place, I've never used that. But, like, leap, which requires these winged thing. <laughs> Wilted wing. I'm not sure what a wing thing is, but. And then you can cut, not simulate using shears. Well, that's cool. damage to spell versus any potion effects evaporate this is cool because it can delete it delete fluids freeze which is freezing water lava That's kind of cool. And then bounce. Gives the player a bounce effect so you don't take fall damage, which is nice. So you couple that with, what was it? Leap? And you pretty much have, then magnify, amplify. Then you pretty much allow yourself to fly, which is nice. And then Magnify 2 also allows us to create a mining effect that pretty much instantly breaks very hard materials. So that's quickly gone. Drop this off. I'll sleep and I'm gonna probably end the episode here. We haven't done much. We built a home. We did a lot of exploring. We died four times in front of me one two three four five six we died six times on one episode so that's not terrible and uh well we have a blank slate to work on for next episode and i believe next episode we're probably going to be getting into automation of ores because i would like to start following some of the quest lines so if we get into getting started once we get to getting started too we start to get into ore production stuff like that so anyway it's been fun for now and uh, i hope to see you guys soon for this was the first episode of all the mods eight anyways take care and have a good one goodbye